Hello and welcome to Outside the Box Soaps. Uh, today's video we're going to be repurposing some soap. Um, this is a batch that I made and I was trying to make whipped cream out of it to do piping and it got very hard very quickly and so I just stuck it in a loaf pan and now I'm just going to try to rebatch it and try to make some uh, whipping cream or some icing that I can pipe again. So we're going to give this another try. Uh, there's about two pounds of shreds in here and I have this in my crock pot. So a couple of things that I'm going to be adding. Um, so I have simple syrup here and simple syrup for those of you who don't bake is just a mixture of equal parts of water and sugar you put that on the heat, you wait until the sugar is completely dissolved, and there you have simple syrup. So um, I'm going to be adding a little bit of this, just starting off with a couple of tablespoons. And we will probably have to add some more as we go along. Just give it another half there. Okay, the other thing that I'm going to be adding here is milk. Uh, so I have about three quarters of a cup here and I'm going to use almost all of that and we're just going to reserve a little bit just to see how things go. And of course this is just to sort of give the soap something to get it started in the melting process. I do have the crock pot set to high and I'm going to start off there and uh, since this needs to sit for quite a while what I'm going to do is put the lid on and we're going to let this go for about 20 minutes and I will come back and check it and uh, let you also see how it's doing in about 20 minutes. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so we're back and 20 minutes have passed and we're going to take a look at this and see how it's doing. Sorry about the barking in the background, that's Ruby and she is quite the barker. So I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to try to uh, zoom in a little bit more but we're getting a little bit of um, melting going on down at the bottom. Let me tilt it a little bit so that you can see what's happening there. And it's not quite ready. So I am going to add a um, little bit of more of the milk that I have here. And I'm also going to add a couple more of these tablespoons of simple syrup. And we're going to give this another 20 minutes. Then we will come back and check on it again and see how it's doing. And hopefully Ruby will keep quiet. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so now we're back. Uh, another 20 minutes have passed. And we're going to take a look at this and see how it's doing. Much, much better. Let me just tilt this a little bit so you can see. It's actually doing much, much better than it was the last time and it's starting to look pretty good. So I am just going to add I think a little bit more of the simple syrup because we're almost getting to where we want to be but we're not quite there yet. So let me get my tablespoon I'm going to add another two 
tablespoons of simple syrup to this. And we are going to give it another 20 minutes. I'm going to just smush that around a little bit. Now, um, you'll notice that I'm not wearing any gear. No gloves, no mask, because this is soap that is already so ponified, and I'm not using any lye or not using any uh, chemicals. So, because this is rebatch soap, I really don't need to use any of those things. So, just want to cover that and make sure that you know I'm not violating safety regulations here or taking any unnecessary risks. So here's what it looks like, and we're going to give it one more shot of 20 minutes, and then we're going to check back, and we'll see how it's doing at that time. Okay, be back in a few. Okay, so the next 20 minutes have passed, and we're going to take a look at this. Now, you never want to just leave it. I know that it takes a long time and you don't want to just walk away from um, your crock pot with soap in it uh, because it could seize up and it could end up making a huge mess. So you do want to check it every 20 minutes, even though we know it takes a lot longer than that to get where we want it. So this is looking pretty good now. And I'm just going to tilt this up a little bit so that you can see that. Um, so we're a lot, lot more melted than we were in the beginning. We still have some soap curls and some chunks in here. So the next thing that I'm going to do, and I think this is going to help a lot, is I'm going to whip this and I'm not going to use the um, stick blender instead I'm going to use a stick blender with a whisk attachment so let me just get that plugged in here and we'll see how we do I apologize for the noise and this is sort of shooting all over the place so I'm going to move it to the slow um, speed and whip it around a little. Okay, so that whisk is doing a really nice job, and um, a lot of times rebatch soap is very chunky and clunky and not very um, smooth. It's more of a rustic kind of feel that you get from it. But using this whisk really does help. Um, so I still see a lot of chunks, especially the colored ones, are still in here. So I'm going to just set this aside again and I'm gonna let this get a little bit more melting time and we'll see if we can get all of those colors to dissolve and then we'll come back and we'll check it again okay see you in a bit okay it has been a while so we're back here now let's take a look and see what we've got here in the pot. All right. Let me tilt this up and let you take a look at that. It's kind of a funky color. And I guess that's because there were some colors mixed in in little bits. 
So I'm going to give this another whip and let's see what we have. Okay, so that is looking pretty good and I am hoping to get some white icing. So I have some pre-mixed titanium dioxide here. We're going to give that a couple of squirts and uh, also have some fragrance here. This is actually bubblegum. And this comes from uh, Eternal Essence. I believe that I um, bought this on Amazon, but there are, of course, my box is all dirty from soap, but there are uh, lots of little sample fragrances in here. So I'm going to add some bubble gum to this. Sorry about that. My phone is ringing. Um, so let me add some bubble gum. Let me um, mix it up and then I'll bring it right back. Okay, so now I've mixed in that bubble gum and it's looking pretty creamy and it's smelling very bubble yummy. I added a little bit uh, more titanium dioxide, but I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get a uh, true white out of this because there were a lot of colors mixed in. Uh, with the curls that I used. So let's go ahead and see how we do uh, in terms of making this work as frosting. So I'm going to move this crock pot out of the way for a sec. I'm going to take my uh, piping bag and this is a Wilton disposable piping bag with a tip and a little tip holder. And this is just a little tip, <laughs> a little uh, technique tip for you. Uh, when you're filling in a, a piping bag, it's a good idea to bend it over a cup and take that piece. And that allows you to really more easily, much more easily, fill that bag with your piping. So I'm very anxious to see this piping and how well this is going to work for me after the last one which turned out to be really a disaster it uh, was discolored it, it froze up on me uh, I wasn't able to pipe and that's where all of the soap came from for this rebatch so let's see I'll put one more scoop And then let's just test it out. So take out my bag, scooch all that soap down to the bottom. Oh, nice. We've got some stuff coming out on the tip. So what I'm going to do is just a little practice squish here. And while I still have some little colored pieces in there. I am actually quite happy with that. Um, let me just see if I can move it back so that you can see what I just did there. Um, so the whole reason that I've wanted frosting is because I had this idea of making soap pops. And this is my terribly failed soap pop. So the last icing, as you can see, turned all discolored. Um, I ended up putting this into some clear soap just to hold it together. And honestly, I'm still not sure if this whole idea of soap pop is going to work. But um, the first thing I needed to do was really to be able to get some good frosting. And I think that happens here today. So... I have these little pieces uh, of that are cake looking, 
Uh, they are made from rebatched chocolate. So, and I kind of liked the fact that they were a little rough because it does look like cake. So my idea was then to take the piping and be able to pipe the cream in the center and then put it between two of these and so I'm going to spritz with some alcohol and I've got a little one here that I just did and I'm just going to sort of lay that on top and I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to let that set up and then I'm going to see how this turns out and this may be the solution that I've been looking for for my cake pops. Um, also being able to being able to pipe so uh, just opens up so many more decorating um, pathways for you. So this has been great. Uh, I think this has worked out really well, much better than the other um, time that I tried to do it. So uh, what I will do, this is going to be the end of this video because we were just trying to see if it worked and it does. And I will, uh, as I go through these and continue to make them, I will tape it and post another video. And so thanks for watching. Uh, please visit our Facebook page, Outside the Box Soaps, and the link will be below. And please like our page, and happy soaping. See you soon.